Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. So I'm in the process of anchoring an Ikea shelf to the wall. My wife loves Ikea shelves. And this particular one is pretty massive, actually. And so I guess it's pretty simple overall, so you almost don't need a video on it. But my recommendation is make sure you can find a way that you can anchor into studs. So in my case, I have studs that are way toward the outside edges on either side here. Um, but nothing that lines up specifically with where their brackets are designed to go. So in this case, they're designed to go on the inside edge of the top corner, right up in here, and right there, there would be nothing behind it. It'd just be drywall. So uh, I found a really good way to use the existing fastener that is used to hold this main top beam on here, and you can basically end up with an alternate location for anchoring the shelf to the wall. So normally, these would go in here, just like this. There's a couple of little screws that hold this over here, and then you would use one fastener to hold it on the wall using this little locking mechanism. You slide this over after the fact. So I'll show you over on the other side, we're gonna end up with basically this. So we flip it around so that we have four holes going towards the wall, that gives us more flexibility for where our stud is as well. I'm still going to have to angle this screw a little bit here. Uh, but then you use this locking mechanism right here to hold that bracket on there. And it works really well with these main legs that are pretty long here. It just uh, holds it up probably about an eighth of an inch from where it would be normally. And it's still doing its job and it's very well secured to the bookshelf. So I think it's a really good method. And then it also moves these up on top of the shelf instead of them being visible from down below. And you can use these little cover things to make it look nice and fancy if you wish. They also send this bigger, longer bracket and this one would be pretty flexible if you were willing to screw into your, let's see this one's designed to line up over those holes, yeah it is. Now this one's designed to go on the end if you wanted this to be freestanding out into a room, but we don't have that. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this thing anchored in. So I'm holding the shelf level up and down, uh, the correct distance from the wall. I'm just going to make a little mark on the wall where I want my screw to start. Right here. Perfect. And now we're ready to... screw this in here. Just going to be using some Torx screws. Now be very aware if you're using a longer screw that there's nothing behind where you're going to be screwing into the wall. In this case I know what's back there. Um, I have some pictures from when I was remodeling here. Um, but otherwise you typically would want to use shorter screws and go straight into the stud. Um, I believe about an, you know, an inch or inch and a quarter of long screws would be pretty safe. Electrical is supposed to be back from the edge of the stud at least an inch and a quarter, I believe. So you should be able to go into the stud three quarters of an inch to or so without any worry. Now if you need help locating your uh, studs, I made a video about that, so I'll link that down in the description. So you can hopefully find <clears throat> exactly where you have a good spot to anchor. We're going to start by just going kind of straight in a little bit. Not straight. Like I said, I have to do this at an angle in order to catch the wood, unfortunately. And I do feel the wood, so that's good. I'm just going tight enough to hold the bracket. If you uh, over tighten the screws into the wall, um, you can run into issues with basically screw heads popping out of the drywall. If that piece of drywall, if you sink the drywall in too far. So just tighten it until it's nice and secure and you're good to go. I think I'll add a second screw next to that one. Again, taking as a pretty dramatic angle on it. 
Again, optimally, I would have loved to have gotten this directly over the stud, um, but this is going to be fine. As long as you get it into wood, you're going to be good to go. So uh, the other option would have been to put this bracket on the side here, but then I can't really get back there to anchor that. So this is going to work very, very well. Well, the nice thing is if you need to adjust this a little bit, you can just loosen it and the bracket actually has a little bit of space to let you slide the shelf a little bit like that. See how it's moving? So we can get it exactly where we want it to be before we tighten it down. And right about there is where we want it, so I'll get that snugged up. And finally, we can snap this cover in place here over this bracket. Although, you know what? It's not liking my bigger headed screws there. So, <clears throat> we may have to just leave them be, which is fine. Nobody's going to really see it anyway unless they're taller than the shelf, in which case, you'd have to be a good, what, eight inches taller than me? <laughs> So, maybe pretty tall, but we might be able to make something work with it. <laughs> Setting on here, but not quite all the way back. Still covers it pretty well. So, one more time, I'll show you how this assembles. This drops over the top, and there's that play that I was talking about. That you have a little bit of flex. I'm holding the shelf out from the wall about a quarter inch, in this case. So works pretty fine right there. And then this uh, locking mechanism can actually just slide over the top of this bolt like so. And that's kind of how I'm anchoring it there. So works pretty good actually. And now I'll have to do my same thing where I have to angle that screw pretty dramatically to get it anchored in that back corner. So <clears throat> ultimately the main thing to consider is Make sure you get anchored into something solid like wood or something like that because drywall anchors by themselves are not really going to hold up. If you have problems with getting a good spot to anchor, which you shouldn't, I mean, you could add an anchor point somewhere along here if you needed to and just use some short screws and anchor it right into this. But um, if you're having issues, you could always put a board on the wall mount a board on the wall that goes across some supportive members and anchor that board to the wall first and then anchor the shelf to the board. So if this video helped you out, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos like this one. And we'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.